Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at compiler settings and we're back with our Primes video or program I should say from the first video we did in the green coding series and I've got my notes here as well. So and as um, before we are focusing on Pascal because that's what this channel is all about but the information here can also be used in other languages such as C, C++ or Fortran. So let's get started and have a look at what the compiler settings do and why they matter and so on. So first of all the compiler settings are not just there for you know translating code. They can also shape or form how the software will perform on a target computer. For example, we can optimize for um, size, we can optimize for performance, and these both help in towards you know, contributing um, energy uh, consumption. So there's nothing tricky about these. Um, every, it's just a tool which comes part of Lazarus, and that's what we're going to be looking at here. So first of all, in order to find the project settings, the easiest way to find them would be to go into the project menu and then into project options. And under the uh, compiler options section, you've got the um, compilation and linking, and then there is, there is also a debugging section. So under the compilation and linking part, we've got some optimization levels that can be set, you know, all the way from zero through to four. And we'll cover what these are in a few minutes. Uh, then we've also got uh, other optimizations where we can make the program faster rather uh, than, or smaller, sorry, rather than faster. And then there is also some smart linking options which all contribute to what code get, does or does not get included. So if we go down, so basically uh, <clears throat> the optimization flags that we're looking at like 01 through or 00 through to 04, this all like uh, tuning your code to squeezing out the waste and you know to boost the efficiency of your code. Um, in C, these settings are also available in your C or C++ compiler. And obviously, the more optimized your code is, then in, you know the less or the fewer wasted cycles there would be, and this can lead to better. And obviously, then leads to better performance and lower energy use. Now, the smart linking options uh, in this dialog here, basically, what that means is that code which is not used would be stripped out of the program. Uh, so rather than you know, you know just lumping in whole libraries, uh, any code which is not used would be you know uh, ripped away or you know taken out, and again that would result in you know smaller programs, you know fast startup time because there's less load into memory. You've also got other settings um, with the uh, compiler to do with. Um, uh, here we've got um, also then we've got options for uh, what sort of checks are performed by the program, whether it does range checking, overflow checking, stack checking, and so on. And then there are other settings which includes that the um, information contained in the you know exe will run using you know debugger you know options, and then there is. Also settings for um, you know for memory leaks and so on. All of this stuff here will contribute to the size of your program, which you know as something that you would give to your customer. You would want to eliminate um, because that's really all about you know or part of that is about respecting the customer and giving them something that is uh, fast and efficient, but and also you know would be green. Now there are other settings then which you can also use to tailor the um, your program towards a particular architecture as well. And again, these are um, good for when you are running on, say, embedded devices to um, again make sure that your code runs better and again wasting less energy. We've already covered the. Um, debug settings in the um, in the dialog 
And then the next part here would be to know, you know, when to switch between, let's say, what to turn on for development versus, you know, in release mode. Now, as you can see in the dialogues here, there are quite a few um, settings that we can look at. And in the next video after this one, we will be looking at, you know, build modes or having a release configuration versus a you know, debug or development type configuration. So if we were to, let's say, just build this program to um, without, you know, basically as a developer with all the debugging options turned on and uh, with then without any optimization set, what we will get here now is a program which is quite large. That's so about a, you know, more than a meg in size here. And for what it's doing, you know, is a... Well, that's a tad large when you can also consider this is a console program. Now, the uh, one thing I will say here is that in this particular video, we don't really need to use this utils either because all it's really doing is to um, have the right line statement in it and then, yes, yeah, it does have sort of a math operation and an array. But by simply removing, let's say, a unit which is not used, and then rebuilding the program, we automatically get a reduction, you know, by let's say a half here, and that can, you know, that can be quite significant. Now, admittedly, again, we're looking at a small program, but all these little contributions over time, uh, you know, do add up. Uh, setting or the feature that I'm using here is the clean and build which is under the run menu what that will do is clean up any object files from the previous uh, build and ensure we're just going to be rebuilding from the sources each time so now the next uh, option that we can look at now when we are looking at our compiler settings are well why not just crank it up to let's say 03 here and see what you know any changes there are so we'll do our clean and build again and we'll go back over here and there was a very small uh, decrease in size um, but still not much to and the result it still does what we want it to do, so that's a win. So what if we were now to, um, ah, where's my, here we go, back into my project options here, and now we will, turn on, well let's go for smaller rather than faster and we will enable our smart linking options here. Hit OK, do a run and or clean up and build again. Yep, so that's even that's a bit smaller, but again the program's not doing much, but you can see how all these little contributions do add up into making a smaller program. If we then start to look at the um, debugging options and seeing what size effect they can have, well what we'll do here now is go under debugging and what we're going to do now is to turn off all the checks and assertions and see what happens. So we're turning off range checking, I.O. checking, overflow, assertions, stack, uh, the, that one there, uh, run using the debugger, the generate info for debugger. Also here for run with the debugger it says disable for release mode as well. So again when you are giving it to a customer these are the settings you would be considering to take to turn off within your build uh, for before compiling so we will now uh, build the program again
And now we've gone from, you know, let's say, 459k down to about 39k. So it's a bit uh, larger than what we would get if this were a straight C program. But it is still, that is a large improvement over the very first uh, build, which was, you know, over a meg in size. So the settings that you're looking at here, and we should run this program just to make sure that it does what we want it to do. Now here you can also see, and you know, we didn't change any of the code, but in the uh, previous iterations, you know, you could see information from the heap trace being output as well. And now you don't get that, and you can see that the program is was is also is actually a little bit faster than what than the first time we ran it. And the other thing I will also point out here is if we go back into our project options and into this config and target settings here, these are the um, options here where you can um, specify a a target that you're building for, you know, etc. There. So remember really that the compiler is, again, it's just a tool and you've got these different settings like on a switchboard that you can toggle or turn on or off to uh, control how your uh, program, let's say, behaves in terms of efficiency, speed, whether you want smaller or larger, what debugging options you want in or out of your program and so on. So you can make it, um, so what the effect would be then by turning off all these settings, again, we have a much smaller program, which can also make it faster for the user, at least in terms of loading, if nothing else. They also uh, become more efficient on the hardware they're running on, which ultimately becomes better for the planet. So in order to uh, find these settings again, you know, if you, when we're in Lazarus, just get out of there, go into the project menu, then under project options, and under project options you then go and look in the compiler settings here, and you've got this whole section here that you can look at. And the same principle also will apply to you know other programming languages as well, whether you're using again C, C++ or Fortran. And these become habits then that you can build, put into your software, not just for the program you're building today, but the ones for um, in next in next month. Or you can all apply the same principle to the ones from you built previously. And we're not making any changes to the code again. So remember that um, efficient code is really not for you know not just uh, for speed. You know it's responsibility. So and responsibility to your customer as well in terms of you know how much or how little you're giving them. And it also works regardless of language. Uh, and every little optimization that you can make to your program does add up. Um, the tools are there, pretty all, I would, regardless of the language that you use. And the real question is, I guess then, will you be using them to build your next program, both for yourself or for your customer base? If you get nothing else um, out of this video, I would hope that you will see that you know by using compiler settings that we can write software that performs well, respects resources, and also helps build a uh, more responsible digital world. Until next time, bye for now.